Hey everyone, in this video I'll be explaining KERS, or Kinetic Energy Recovery System. Now the goal of a Kinetic Energy Recovery System is to turn the kinetic energy of your vehicle when you stop or slow down from braking, rather than turning that energy into heat, to turn that into usable energy that you can then use to either power the electronics on your car or accelerate. Now there's things like regenerative brake regenerative braking which the Toyota Prius uses and what that does is when you brake it sends the the energy from your braking rather than turning it all into heat some of it goes to charging your battery so I'm going to look at the Porsche GT3 R hybrid and the kinetic energy system that that uses uh, and so what it does is it has two motors on the front wheels so when you brake these motors reverse and when they're reversed they are basically act as generators so when you brake you send rotational energy into these motors when these motors rotate they turn that energy since they're in reverse they turn that energy into electricity that electricity is then passed to a motor slash flywheel it's kind of a combination of both it's a mass and a motor um, which will be sitting in the passenger side that's just for weight balance purposes uh, and so what it does it'll it'll spin up this motor, this flywheel, and then that'll just continue to spin until you activate it. So it'll send that rotational energy and you'll have it stored there and it's got these ceramic bearings uh, which are very low friction so it can maintain that spin for a good duration and it can spin up to about 30,000 to 40,000 RPM in the uh, Porsche GT3R hybrid. Now once you activate that energy you can have a little push button which I think is very cool. You can just push a button on your steering wheel and it'll turn that rotational energy and it'll basically reverse its function and it will turn that rotational energy into electricity which it will then use to power these two motors now each of these motors are 60 kilowatt motors that's about 80 horsepower a piece that they can add to the front wheels and you can use that for about six to eight seconds uh, according to Porsche engineers so that's a that's a pretty cool thing to use instead of braking and turning all that energy into heat on your brake pads you can actually use that energy to re-accelerate and get a, a bonus hundred and almost 160 horsepower uh, added for a short durations that you can use in cornering or on a straightaway. So basically what's going on is you're turning that forward energy of the car into rotational energy when it spins up these motors. That rotational energy turns into electrical energy. It sends a current to this motor or flywheel. That spins up the flywheel and then this just stays rotating. Then you can activate it, turn it back into electrical energy, turn that into rotational energy to rotate these motors, and turn that back into forward momentum to accelerate your car. So it's a very clever system. Um, and there's other methods of doing it. It's also used in Formula One. On uh, Formula One, they use ultra capacitors. So instead of this flywheel here, they've just got ultra capacitors which can uh, build energy and release energy very quickly. And so they'll store the energy, and then with a push of a button, you can release that energy from the capacitor instead of uh, a rotating uh, disc or flywheel. Now, hydraulic is another way of doing it, and what that does is you'll have a, a system sort of like a pump where you compress a fluid, and then you can release that fluid's pressure uh, in order to power a motor or something like that. So those are the three methods of doing it, and I was just going over here the flywheel method um, and how that works and that's what Porsche has used and they actually have done quite a good job with their their car uh, and it's had decent success especially with fuel economy so now you might be wondering well why would Porsche choose a flywheel approach to a hybrid rather than say a conventional battery method um, such as used in a Prius well the thing about a flywheel is it can store more energy uh, than a battery for its weight. So this flywheel here is only 31 pounds, yet it can power, it can give the car 160 horsepower for about six to eight seconds. So that's pretty impressive um, that 31 pounds can produce that much power. I mean, my car's engine doesn't produce that much power and it certainly weighs more than 31 pounds. So that's pretty remarkable that it can release that energy so quickly. Uh, and that's the other advantage is that it can be charged and discharged very quickly. Unlike a battery, batteries take a little while to charge and discharge. They can't just pass out extremely high currents. And that's why Formula One uses the ultra capacitors because they can make up for this uh, difference. But Porsche has decided to use the flywheel method and they've actually had great success with it and it's 
And it seems like a very cool system. I just think it's very fascinating that you can have a, a button, you know, like for boost. Like, you know, you have in all the video games, it's finally something realistic, other than nitrous, which is going to just ruin your engine if you use it too many times. Whereas something like this can be made um, somewhat reliable, and you can use it over the duration of many hours, like Porsche did on the Nurburgring 24-hour race. So, it's, it's a very cool technology.